So a key factor in getting the smoothest YouTube videos possible is probably transitions and I'm going to be showing you how you can actually replicate those today. And I'm going to have a bunch of free presets in the description for you guys to download. All you got to do is drop us up to actually get access to those. And if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And with that being said, I'll see you guys on my PC. All right. So welcome to the first portion of the video. I'm actually going to be covering DaVinci Resolve in the first half. And then the second half, I'm going to be doing After Effects. So I'll have timestamps for those. So the first portion of DaVinci Resolve, all we got to do is go into a new project and I'm just going to call it transitions December, something like that. Um, just something random. And I'm going to be covering the basic transitions that you could just do using Blurmo curves. You're going to need the Sapphire plugin. So make sure to download those. You can find a uh, version of that online uh, if you do enough research. So good luck with that. But what we're going to do is I'm just going to find a random uh, intro template. So for example, I'll just drag in one of these and we're not going to change the frame rate. Just make sure you go to file, change your frame rate to 60 FPS, um, 1080p, press save, press change of the frame rate, just like this. Then we're going to drag it in and pretty much what this would look like it's if you were editing a youtube video and you had two separate portions right here with a cut down the middle here let me just make it so it's actually like a defined cut so we can see that it changes just like that but you know instead of having it look choppy what we're going to do is we're actually going to fix that we're going to make it look more smooth and kind of have a better flow so what we're going to do for this is we're going to go to effects we're going to go to adjustment clip and we're going to drag it over top of the separation here from there we're going to go into the fusion tab and all we got to do is press control and space on our keyboard at the exact same time to bring up the select tool we're just going to type in blurmo curves press enter press add either works and once it's actually added in all we got to do is we got to do some basic keyframing so what we want to do is we're going to want to put a marker on this middle point right here uh, we're going to go back in we can see that right here this is the middle point so on the middle point you're either going to do um one value or the other and it's you're it's going to make sense in a second once i explain it so the first transition i'm going to show you is a zoom transition so this is using the z distance so if you want to do let's say a zoom out transition on the separation you're going to put 0.4 which i know it's a zoom in just give me a second we're going to go one frame before that and we'll just do something like the opposite so like 1.6 which is this is the zoom out part and then we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten twenty frames back change the value to one and then we'll do the exact same thing on the other side so one two two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then we'll change this one to one and then make sure we have the wrap x and wrap y to reflect and we can see that it just does a zoom out just like that and it looks super blocky but we're gonna fix that in a second by opening the spline right here make sure we have these boxes checked press the arrow thing and i'm actually gonna make this a bit smaller so it's easy to work with press Control a press s and then we're just gonna fix this graph by copying what i am doing right here I'm gonna bring this one down bring this one over and pretty much what that's gonna look like so we can see it does a nice little zoom out transition super basic concept and uh yeah that is pretty much that the next thing we're gonna do is i'm gonna get rid of these keyframes and we're gonna do a movement transition instead so uh we're gonna go back to this middle point and let's say you want to do up or down left right i'm gonna do uh left to right because i feel like that's a bit more uh, basic so we're gonna change this value to 0.5 and then we're gonna go one frame before and change the value to negative 0.5 sorry i gotta go back uh one frame to 0.5 here just so we get the key framing down and then we're gonna do the same thing 20 frames so uh this is 20 frames over right here we're gonna change this one to zero and then this one is gonna be 20 frames back as well we're gonna change this one to zero same thing bring up your spline check the box press the arrow press control a s bring this over bring this down bring this one down and then bring this one over as well and then that's literally your graph that's the rule of thumb graph that you're going to want to stick to the entire time and that's what's actually going to allow you to make the best transitions possible but yeah that's pretty much how you do that inside of davinci resolve i'm actually going to be moving on to after effects now but if you guys aren't going to make sure to like comment subscribe and let's actually get into the after effects portion if you guys just tuned in you didn't see the davinci resolve tutorial what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be showing you how to do a zoom transition as well as a movement transition so pretty much what we're going to do is i'm just going to show kind of like a separation between clips right here this pretty much just imagine you have two different clips you want to be able to transition so all you really have to do is add an adjustment layer and then from there it's super super easy uh so just press Control alt y between these two layers right here 
so I didn't mean to delete that control alt Y just so it goes above you can kind of cut that off in the excess and then we have the adjustment layer right here all you have to do now is just look up blur mode curves right here in our effects library and I'm just gonna look up blur mode curves and it's right here so all we gotta do is just drag it on top of our uh, adjustment layer and I'm gonna quickly show you how the keyframing works so Z distance we're gonna use for zoom out and then shift X and Y we're gonna use for our movement so the first one I'm gonna do is actually a zoom in and out um, if we're doing a zoom out, all we got to do is keyframe the Z distance on that separation point and change it to a zoomed in. Let me quickly explain in a second. We're going to go one frame back. We're going to change this to 1.6, which is actually the zoomed out version we can see right here. And then we're going to go 20 frames back from there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 20 frames back, change this to 1. And then after the separation, same thing. 20 frames back, change it to one, and then make sure our wrap X and wrap wire set to reflect. We can see it is a zoom out, but it's super, super linear. Uh, we don't want that, so we're gonna press U on this layer, select all these keyframes, press F9 on our keyboard, which will actually ease it. It'll make it a little less linear, but also we have to edit it still. So select all these keyframes, go into the graph, and then with each, with each point selected, you're just gonna wanna replicate uh, the graph that I'm about to show here. So just do this, do this that's pretty much a zoom out transition so that is that um, for a movement transition now all you got to do is do the exact same concept but you're going to do it with a shift x or a shift y so for me i'm going to do shift x so i'm going to keyframe this value at 0.5 but i'm actually going to keyframe this at 500 right here which is kind of like the middle point then we're going to go one frame back like before um keyframe it at negative 500 and that should be good we're going to go 20 frames back from here so from there it's kind of like a bit of a transition right here it swipes but it's super linear again select it f9 go into our graph literally just edit the graph just like that and it's a super nice slide and that's pretty much that uh that's how you do transitions inside of after effects if you guys enjoy the video you want to show me some love make sure to like comment subscribe hope this video helped you out a ton i hope this video helped you out and with that being said make sure to check out my other tutorials in the description check out the presets for 100 free and uh, yeah see you guys in a future video on the channel peace out